President Dr. Al Haji Muhammad Bawamir. I think the square looks quite well organized. Um, I think, much calmer than yeah, January much calmer. 7. Some synchronicity in there. Um, you know, interesting to to see. We are putting our best foot forward, and I think that's great. Okay. And it is expected that after the vice president takes his seat, that the president the will the then arm um, also. Yes. The people are there in force. This is their country. Mm. Good to see. This is the vice, the arrival. We're looking at the arrival of the vice president. Um, after he um, takes his seat, then the president will arrive. Or, looking at this, after the vice president takes his seat, the invited heads of state, and then President Nanada Danko Ekofuata will arrive. Dr. Um, Balomian is coming off the uh, budget preparation, I guess. Um, Very I think, fresh. <laughs> I think he's had a few busy nights. Exactly, yes. So um, I want to see how he looks. <laughs> <laughs> Victor, we started talking about some of the invited guests, and uh, I, I, I kicked off with uh, um, President, Mugabe. President Mugabe being here. Mm. What, what are your views? Well, interesting, interesting thing. I mean, between 1958 and 1960, he taught at St. Mary's uh, Training College in Takradi, so he's not a stranger mm -hmm. to Ghana. He married a Ghanaian woman, Sally Hefron, yes. mm -hmm. who unfortunately uh, passed on. So more or less, like he's coming back home. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not he's not a stranger at all. Um, but then we all know President Mugabe. Indeed, I I, 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 I think, I think it would be lovely if he was allowed to say a few words. A few words. No, no, um, no. I don't think. It would <laughs> be lovely from the perspective of a journalist, perhaps not for other yes, people. Yes, because we are looking but for. But we are looking at. I think Mugabe represents the best. There yes. he is, indeed. Yes. My yes, goodness, yes, yes, yes. resplendent in blue. In blue, yeah. And the second lady looking very gorgeous, as you say. She does look yes, rather yes, nice, yes, yes. indeed. She does. Full of poise, yeah. Yes. And I think it's Actually. things like this that set us apart from other countries. And we what are very poised second lady? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know the, the the way things uh, you know coming out very Why nicely. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Is uh, pulling your leg, of course. Um, we are told that the invited heads of state will soon be uh, joining us. Um, this is the Black Star Square. You're looking at the Black Star Square, the Independence Square in Accra, on Ghana's 60th Independence Anniversary celebration. It's very calm, you're right. Yes. The mood yes. is much calmer than yes. January 7th. So are we reflecting now? Yes, we are reflecting. And um, I agree with Dr. Bampo. You know, these ceremonies sometimes, you know, can get to you. You wonder why do we have to go through all these rituals, but what you need to know is that how much of these rituals you are able to get through is a direct reflection of your maturity as okay. a country. As the parade commander, okay. Yes, uh, they are paying their salutes to the vice president on his arrival. Thank you. And the parade commander is his name. The parade commander is Group Captain Lakain Joshua Lakain. Okay. He is an Air Force uh, officer. He's a pilot. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, we were talking about... Yes, I was saying it reflects how mature you are as a country. So it may look like just a ritual, but it is not just a ritual. If you're a country in turmoil, you cannot organize something like this. Mm -hmm. If you did, there will be chaos. Mm -hmm. If you're a country in all kinds of trouble, you will not have the peace of mind you know, to be able to pull off a thing like this. If your army is not properly taking care of your police are in disarray. So these things may look simple, but they are not. They absolutely reflect the fact that we are a stable nation. You see three presidents in other places you will and not have. And the Speaker of Parliament, the Speaker of Parliament. Um, so all of this together tells you what we've been able to achieve over the 60 years. And it's extremely cool. That's a strong man at 93. And you can see him really making the effort. He must be commended for being this strong at this age and still soldiering on. He was a soldier for sure. So. Yeah, and I would say he represents the best and the not so best of our foreign policy as in what Kwame Nkrumah tried to achieve. You know, we more or less brought him up and basically inspired him, as he himself will say, 
to fight and make sure that he liberated his country. Um, what has happened in the past 20 years, however, what post-independent African countries became. Mm -hmm. I think, in a sense, we still are an example. And after these growing pains, they will get a certain you know, rhythm and come back and copy what you know, we have always taught them, which is democracy. And that tendency to accept to walk off when it's time for you to leave. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's welcome, but I'm, I'm in two minds about uh, our, our friend Mugabe. And citizen Bampo, maybe you have a third mind to add? No, I was just going to country, you know, add on to what Kofi said, that, um, you know, he, Ghana has play, played the role of being the first in many mm -hmm. things. So Ghana mentored a lot of the heads of states. The, and that, of uh, course, is the Chief Justice, Justice of yes. the Supreme Court. Looking very Looking radiant. Absolutely. So, um, President Mugabe also attended the Kwame Nkrumah Ideological Institute. Now, the excitement um, begins, excitement. obviously, from the popular stand. I wonder, I wonder if indeed the president is arriving. So, just going to say, Kofi, isn't it then important for us to be measured in the way that we discuss contemporary Ghana? You know, sometimes we tend to give a sense of helplessness and hopelessness. Mm. And I think that it's important for us to point out the ills of society, but let's not forget the steps that we've made as a nation and keep a, a balanced score sheet so that we, we know where we are at, you know, at, at any time. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I like I said the whole morning, we don't have to beat up on ourselves too much. We just have to know the high standards which we you know, hold ourselves up against. On the screen, yeah, Scott Romita. Some of the security uh, services um, senior officers from the Ghana forces and then also from the police and then the prisons. Madam Afeni Dazi, former GGA president, present. To the best and the greatest in Ghana yes. today, yes. again, again at the <laughs> Independence Square. But the ceremony address, um, does it take a while to put it on? <laughs> no, <laughs> it doesn't. No, yes, for those, for the officers. No, I mean, the okay, ones I mean, that come with the sword, yeah, no, no. you know, you have to, you know, make it look, it must shine. Yeah. You have to work on it for it to shine, you know, when you wear it. Okay. So it takes that's a uh, Mr. Gina Paul, and that's his wife behind him. Okay. Deputy um, Chief, Chief of Staff. Chief of staff. staff yes. And of course, Mr. Jinapol um, is also on the National Planning Committee yes, for well, Ghana 60 yes. years on. So I'm sure he's keeping a very uh, eagle eye mm. on Sir. A young man occupying a particularly very, you know, um, stressful position. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, in 60 years to come, some people will be sitting here and talking about some great families in Ghana, like the Jinnah Pope. Ah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Look, it's a good thing. You know, again... Like the pits in England. Eh? Again, it comes to how we reflect on our history and how we, you know, kind of um, speak to these things. And I agree with you, we should not be entirely negative. We should just hold ourselves to high standards. But we need to actually hold up some of these families, you know, who have been absolutely fantastic in this whole struggle. And then I, uh, to that extent, I can bring in your family. I mean, w without going too much into that detail, you know, we need as a country to put these groups on a pedestal. It's good for our own, you know, mindset as a people that we are great. Out of her family, okay, you have had so many people who have been central to the independence of Ghana and to forming Ghana as a nation. From Nana Selfuriata, okay, JB Dangwa, out of the big six, three of them come from her house. Okay, and it's not about her in particular. It happens that she's here and she's auspicious as she is in her own right. But our present um, um, finance minister, okay, Ken Oforiata, who happens to be her brother, and Ken's father was finance minister. Deputy. Okay. Was deputy, deputy finance, finance minister, finance. and he had a particularly colourful, you know, history in our parliament, which should be, you know, spoken about. And if you look in that family again, you have, you know, um, a president. You know, you need uh, a whole book. You need a whole book. <laughs> the coup for But the point that Victor was making is families. Maybe later on we should have the Jinapo family and then speak about them and how they have contributed to Ghana. Oh, the Bampo family. The Bampo family or the Benzo family. They have contributed you know, my grandfather slaves a lot. <laughs> yes. You know, so we should not look at these things as a negative. And we should actually hold them up and say, what was it? I tell my students that Nana Soforiata 
made sure education was a big deal in Achim. And that may be the reason why you have so many Achim people where they are today. And greatness is good, but education is what may leave you a legacy. So when we learn these lessons, you know, we have many auspicious families, you know, the Beho family in you know, foreign mm -hmm. affairs and that kind of thing. We, we need to find them and actually polish them. Elsewhere, we go and read about people. Okay, yep. and then even when they don't have royalty, the Americans have created their Kennedys and their Rockefellers. You know, we need to find our own and make it work. So then we can and, and celebrate the diversity in thought. For example, mm -hmm. if you talk about the Jinapo family, we have, you know, yes. one on either one side. Of side. Mm -hmm. Talk about, uh, you know, uh, Otiko, mm -hmm. Minister Honorable. We have the ceremonial yeah. ADCs, the Chief of the Defense Staff, and then uh, IGP. We're going to position themselves. Which means that we're anticipating the very soon the arrival. Yes. Of course, in the shot, you see the chief of staff, yes. Yes. my yes. current chief and of staff. Born, you know. be, um, and that's Paul Nyasingbe, friend. And on the left is the, the vice president of, uh, of, of Liberia. 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 Yes. And Uncle Bob is resting peacefully. Oh. He's, he's looking through the bushes. No, he's bushier. resting nicely. I mean, I mean he's, he's at ease. So uh, Paul Nyasingbe has been president of Togo since uh, his father passed away yes. in 2005, a good friend of Ghana. Yes, yes. and also uh, uh, one of those families. I'm exactly. not sure that they are always celebrated, but they're definitely a family. Mm -hmm. um, father David was president Asantia for Pietro, many years. The uh, uh, Inspector General of Police. Accomplished uh, gentleman. The Vice uh, President of Liberia apparently had served under do as, as, as a well. minister, yeah. you know, facilitating yeah. record. Yeah. 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 And so the year is vice president. Counts. Yeah. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Experience. And he's been encouraged actually to run uh, after Madame Sally. Yeah. Is yes. he now? So interesting dynamics in Liberian politics. I mean, it's a great nation, Liberia. Uh, I it see is. Dr. Edward Mahama. Mahama. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Perennial, you know, uh, presidential candidate and active political for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. But, so, but picking up on, on families, I think the Ghana Medical Association would probably um, take away my membership if I fail to mention <laughs> that uh, was she your uh, grand aunt? Or? The first female the doctor. The first female uh, yes, doctor, yes, yes. Susan Ufuria. Ufuria yes. First yes. female ah, Ghanaian aunt. Yes. Yes. Okay. And we should find a place, you know, to really celebrate the Ufuria family. I think you've paid more I than think, you. I think my, you're my doing own, very well today. You should make, my, I'm my, an honorary member, actually. My, I'm not disclosing My own yeah. good grand uncle <laughs> actually interacted with J.B. Dankwa. Um, they made Coco Coco. I always say this. Um, you know, so you are right about families and, and their role in Ghana. Um, yeah. Some not known, some, yes. you know. I think the way I like to look at it is untold stories. Yes, and for yes, me, yes, that's the are. fascinating opportunity for this year, yeah. as the anniversary torch travels from region to region, yeah, yeah. that you unearth these untold, untold stories. stories yes. Because yes. there are stories outside yeah. of Accra yeah. that we don't yeah. know about. Yeah. Yes, and some are, are worthy of, of being told oh. at a higher level. For example, fact, the, the Green Botanical necessary. Gardens was where the first key cuckoo seedlings were, were grown. Yeah. And then and then there was the boom. Um, yeah. And then Ghanaian, you know, the early guys who, who, who planted the cuckoo and the rest of them actually wanted to form a company that would do the exports directly. Yeah. And actually got agents in the US. It's, yes. a, it's a fascinating story. Actually, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a simple story, but it's powerful. They actually did it. They arranged their own exports and, you know, the traders of the time, you know, used to do it. It was Kwame Nkrumah who tried to organize it, okay, because it became such a big deal. In the process of organizing it and making it easier for the farmers to do, the government's overbearing power mm. basically yeah, took it was, over. Yeah. Celebrating right. so, our so heroes. Yes, I think there was heroes. a three, the three yeah. 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 servicemen. Service command, yeah, yeah. servicemen, yeah. 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 I mean, there are untold stories, and there are also a few inaccuracies. Yeah. Okay, and look, we need to, again, be in a mature country now at 60, be able to confront some of these inaccuracies and deal with them. Mm -hmm. I have been on a personal crusade, at least for the past six years, to try and correct what I think is an inaccuracy in our history concerning the whole concept of the blood that was shed for our independence. I think it's important because in certain places, people have to fight and shed Just blood. Just a second. Um, okay, so there we saw Cardinal Bertolo. Yes, um, indeed. Are you Catholic? 
Uh, no, I'm not Catholic. Okay. Uh, yes, he's a he's a special guest um, sent directly from the Vatican. From the Vatican. Yes. Mm-hmm. I was making the point. And then also very briefly, ah, there he comes. And um, we see now the arrival mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. President Ekufuade. Is this the bulletproof star? Star? Is this the bulletproof? How we are told. I have no idea. Um, could you tell us about the mounted yeah, so guard we have that the he has? Police mounted squadron escorting the president, and uh, it's commanded by Assistant Superintendent of Police Mary Agamba and Sergeant Sergeant Major Sunday. It's fascinating. There's a woman in command. Yes. Oh, a woman, a woman in command. Yes, well, woman. then it will go very well. Great, you know, horse, horse woman for sure. Mm-hmm. So, um, the president arrives, and this is traditionally how it is done? Yes, this is how it's done. I guess looking after the horses would, would cost a fortune, eh? <laughs> and needs experts and all of that. Yes. Get thoroughbreds and yes, all of that. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So do we import them or what? Yes, some of them are imported. Those we have in the military, some are imported from South Africa. And then we also have some from Ghana. From Ghana. They teach you how to ride? Yes. Okay, yes. so you ride a horse? Not really, not so much. Oh, okay. <laughs> because we didn't have, uh, we didn't have much time okay. when we were in okay. training to... to and she's a squadron yes. leader. Yes. Yes. Should you Flying tell us again the name of the commander? The commander we see is her uh, 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 Assistant Superintendent of Police, Mary Claire. Agamba. Okay. She's the one in the shorts now. I think it's fascinating that our and independence, 60th independence, that the one in command is, is, a, woman. is, is a woman. Because we talk a lot about the men, and I wonder whether we tell enough stories about the women. Not just in history, but currently. Mm. There are mm. a number of women occupying really critical roles in our society. Well, I mean, going back to history, history. Even going back to history, I, oh, I was yeah. reading about um, some two ladies who supported Kwame Nkrumah's, uh, you know, uh, ascension to power. The, the Mokola ladies, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and all of them, yeah. Many you know, people don't know about They're untold stories yeah, again, yeah. you know, yes. we have to tell them. I was speaking about something when mm-hmm. this We'll came keep in. an eye on the screen yes. as you see. But there was some military the president, um, I believe, yes, will so be... The commander, that was the commander, yes. ASP Agamba, Mary Agamba. To the right hand to the, side. Yeah, to the right hand side. Okay. We have Lance Corporal Yahoo She's Shad with the Sergeant, Major Sunday. He's to the left. Sergeant Major Husband. Sunday. And Lady the gentleman Lisa in the blue Hodges. carrying the Lady Lisa Hodges. Are they part of the general Respect police? The yes, they are part of the, the mounted squadron. The and the flag, do they represent something? Is it the, the I don't know, the mounted squadron, their flag? Yes, that's their flag. This will be followed by the national player. I don't see Benz, it's, it's more the BMWs, right? You know, I was asking if this is a bulletproof car because this is really um, maybe at least. Seven well, years there's old. a change in government. Perhaps they have a change in the way they wish to arrive right, at yes, yes, yes. these ceremonies. What do you think? We don't have our beast. Okay. So we might have to just make do with this. His Excellency, okay. the President oh. of the Republic. And, my goodness. The First Lady. The First Lady and the President Quadro have just arrived. The President and also another dancer. Accompanied by this the First Lady, Mrs. Rebecca, yeah. Mrs. Rebecca Na Akali Akufuado. Good morning, Your Excellencies. Looks very sober. Yes. Simple. Yes. And comfortable. Okay, thank you.
international ledge. We will now have the national flag. We shall now have the national pledge. National pledge, it is on page 12 of the program. We shall now have additional prayers by Dumbo William for the day. Nigel Info of the Osu traditional area will say the traditional prayer. No more fine, Orado. Shall we please be seated? Presidents, 
Eh what jai John Rawlin se ba cho mi ke ho. E se eh what jai Kufu e ba cho mi ke ho. Wo se mama e ba cho mi. Wo na John so ete. Mene mini wo na nana Akufu Addo. I get for president. Niji Ghana fe wo che ni wo na eh. Ghana bi a fe a che. Awun si a che. Mama na lo che. Me ko ma ni. Me ko ma ode he. E ba ya ko nyu no. Chant Many people are to Ghana, ta a machine. Kwa mi nkruma, ba ye kono onu. Ni kwa bla bonde, wa osu ala ta manche, ba ye kono onu. Lele ke of chata ojo ba, ni ta te ba, ta se e ni na mo yomi. Alo yomi ba no ya yomi. Mene wo unwa bi, no kanko. Mene le, wo president e, e ngukututu ni. Nye nye ba wa ame. Nye na mi yaba unwa unwa. Nini ba fe, musu bo ni yo. Now, the chief imam will now say the Muslim prayer. Sheikh Usman Sharabatu. Thank you very much, Numo Bilinfu the third from the Osu traditional area. We shall now continue with Muslim prayers by Major Najmuddin Agbere Mohammed, the chief imam of the Ghana Armed Forces. This will be followed by Christian prayers by Commander Ol Ejijan from the Directorate of Religious Affairs of the Ghana Armed Forces. Allahumma <laughs> آتنا ولا تحرمنا اللهم زدنا ولا تنقصنا وارحمنا ولا تعذبنا وفرج همومنا واكشف همومنا وانصرنا ولا تحزننا واقرمنا ولا تحننا وانصرنا ولا تبلعنا وعاصرنا ولا تؤسر علينا وعفظنا ولا تلجينا فإنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم اجعل البلد راقعنا 
اللهم اجعل بلدنا ناقانا بلدا امنا مطمئنا وسائر البلدان اللهم اجعل بلدنا ناقانا بلدا امنا مطمئنا وسائر البلدان وامنا باوطاننا ولا تفتنا اللهم ارفع مختك وغلبك عنا ولا تواخذنا ما فعل السفهاء منا وختم لنا بخذنا هاتفة الناجين والراجين الذين قيل لهم كل يا عبادي الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقلدوا من رحمة الله اللهم اجعل هذا البلد بلدا آمنا مطمئنا وسائر بلدان وحفظ رئيسها لا نأخذ فؤاده ونعيبه الهجي ومن هنا بسر لو انزلنا هذا القران على جبل لرايته خاشعا متصدعا من عشيه الله وتلك الامثال تدربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون هو الله والذي لا اله الا هو عالم الغيب والشهاده هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الله والذي لا اله الا هو الملك القدوس السلام مؤمن المعلمين العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما اشركوا اللهم انت امرتنا بدعائك ووعدتنا باجابتك فقد دعوناك كما امرتنا فعجبنا كما وعدتنا يا ذا الجلال والكرام انك لا تخلف المئات اللهم ما قدرتنا من خير وشرانا به بتوفيقك وتيسيرك وتمم لنا باحسن الوجوه كلها واصوى بها واصفاها فانك على ما تشاء قدير نيم المولى ونيم النسير وما قدرتنا من شر وتهزرنا منه فاصرفوا عنا يا حي يا قيوم يا من قامت السماوات والارضون بامره يا من يمسك السماء عن تقال الا باذنه يا من امره اذا اراد شيئا ان يقول له كن فيكون امين 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 سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المسلمين والحمد لله رب العالمين Apostle Samuel Yao Entry, the General Secretary of the Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Council, will take the Christian prayer. Apostle Entry. We pray in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord, we are gathered here to celebrate our independence and our freedom that you gave us through our forefathers who have gone before us. Thank you for the foresight, dedication, initiative, and their perseverance with which they achieved this freedom for us as a people and a nation. Lord, we also thank you for the gift of life that you have given to us and gave to our fathers, men and women, who worked so hard with their lives to ensure our progress and development up to now. We are also grateful for your grace and mercy that have brought us thus far. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for our past presidents and those who steered the affairs of our nation in the past. By your grace, once more, you have given us a new president. His Excellency President Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado and his Vice Alhaji Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. We pray, O oh God, that you give them wisdom from on high, the spirit of commitment and dedication to steer the affairs of our nation forward. Lord, we pray for our motherland, and we pray for good governance. We pray for the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary, for justice and freedom. We pray for the Council of State, who have the responsibility to help the president bring up policies that will help our nation move forward. We pray for our chiefs, queen mothers, and all traditional leaders. Lord, help them to maintain and sustain our traditions in their towns and villages and all places. We pray for our farmers and fishermen, through whom you provide us with food. Let the rains come in its time, 
and let the sun shine in this time, that as we plant, you give us good harvest. Dear Lord, we pray for our teachers through whom we receive knowledge and discipline. Give them commitment to duty. We pray for the Ghana Armed Forces, the Police Force, and the General Security Services through whom you give us security. Have mercy on our generation, O oh God, and give us the spirit of dedication to duty, foresight, and vision for the future. Help us to be committed to hard work and discipline. Give us the desire to count our blessings each day for how far you have brought us. Bless the generations after us and even the generations yet unborn. Above all, O oh God, we beseech thee, bless our homeland Ghana and make us great and strong. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right! Red set! Good morning, Mr. President. Ghana 60th Independence Anniversary Parade formed up. 58 officers, 1,200 men and women drawn from the Ghana Army, Ghana Navy, Ghana Air Force, Ghana Police Service, Ghana Prison Service, Ghana National Fire Service, Customs Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority, Ghana Immigration Service and Ghana Ambulance Service. 1,200 teachers, students, and pupils drawn from the basic and senior high schools within the Accra Metropolis and the mass band comprising the Ghana Armed Forces and the Ghana Police Service ready for inspection. Group Captain Joshua Latay Mensa Lakai reporting. Mr. President. The parade commander has just invited the president to inspect the parade. The the president will be accompanied by his ceremonial aide de camps, who are Chief of the Defense Staff Major General Obed Bwama Akwa and the Inspector General of Police, Mr. David Asante Apietu. After the inspection of the parade, the president will move to the cenotaph of the unknown soldier to light the national flame. Lighting of the flame is a symbol of the spirit of independence. It reminds us of our responsibility to keep the spirit alive. Also, the president will be assisted by a 14-year-old Ifuansa, a junior high school, three student of Rich Church School here in Accra. As she assists the president 
today to light the national flame. It is a hope that this will inspire the youth to aspire to greater heights and also instill a spirit of patriotism in all Ghanaians. After President Nana Adudankwa Akufuado lights the perpetual flame, the Ghana 60 years on torch will be lit using this flame. The lighting of this torch today signifies the beginning of the year-long activities. Your Excellency's 60th anniversary. President is now inspecting the Ghana Army contingent, the male contingent. It's now expecting the army female contingent and it's now the turn of the navy male contingent navy female contingent Mill contingent and the Ghana Air Force female contingent is now expecting the Ghana prisons female contingent. Prisons male contingent. Ghana police female contingent. The police today have four contingents. The Ghana police male contingent. Another Ghana police female contingent. Ghana police male contingent. It's now the turn of Ghana Fire Service. Ghana Fire Service female contingent. The custom division of Ghana Revenue Authority male contingent. The female contingent of Ghana. Customs. Lastly, the immigration male contingent and the immigration female contingent. I will now hand you over to Reverend Jonathan Better to continue on. Thank you very much. I go MC Squadron Leader Robinson Omani Ejei, Ghana Air Force. You have just joined us. We are celebrating our 60th Independence Day anniversary at the Plaza Square under the team mobilizing for Ghana's future. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the school's contingent are made up of five senior high schools and seven sub-metro education directors, basic schools. The basic schools are drawn from the following sub-metros and schools. As Sheru Keteke, Ayawaso West Wako, Kaikwe North, Ablekuma South, Al Walid Islamic Basic School, Ablekuma Central, Banks Memorial Institute, which is also a private school. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the senior high schools on parade this morning are Accra Academy, Beneza Senior High School, Kimbu Senior High Technical School, 
St. Mary's Senior High School and Salem Senior High School. Permit me to give you a few teaching and objectives of Ghana Education Service. Ghana Education Service is to create an enabling environment in all educational institutions and management positions that will sustain effective teaching and learning in schools and promote management efficiency within the service. The Ghana Education Service, ladies and gentlemen, is charged with the responsibility of implementing pre-tertiary education policies of the government. This is to ensure that all Ghanaian children of school going age are provided with quality formal education and training. Few policies are to improve equitable access to education and participation in quality education at all levels. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jacob Cole is the Director General of Ghana Education Service with Mrs. Cynthia Busuchi Sam in charge of management services and Mrs. Felicia Boachi Yadom in charge of quality and access. As the Acting Deputy Director General, they are supported by Divisional Directors and regional directors and 216 district municipal metropolitan directors. The divisions of the Ghana Education Service, ladies and gentlemen, are basic education, secondary education, special education, inspectorate, human resource, supplies, logistics, technical and vocational, teacher education, finance and administration, Curriculum Research and Development, Planning Research, and Data Collection. Thank you very much. May I hand over to Squadron Leader Robinson Omani Aji. Thank you very much, Reverend Jonathan Bete. The President is now moving to the Senator of the Unknown Soldier to light the flame. The cenotaph gas are commanded by Warrant Officer Class 2 of Fair 2. The Ghana Army Guard is Sergeant Azuma Yumano. And the Ghana Navy Guard is Petty Officer Class 2 Ayiku Priest. The Ghana Air Force Guard is Sergeant Sampini Isian. And the Ghana Police Guard is Corporal Ajoma Gratis. The Flame Lighters are Corporal Pia Vitor and Private. Amos. This morning, as the pot under the symbolic black star glows with a flame, it is hoped that we will rekindle our flame of nationalism in unity and peace, which are the pillars for development and pledge to mobilize for Ghana's future. The president is being assisted by 14 years President will now light the Ghana 60 years on torch.
own torch. The lighting of this torch today signifies the beginning of our year long activities to mark our city anniversary. The torch will travel across the length and breadth of Ghana and return to its starting point here at the Independence Square on March 6, 2018. Thank you. The president has highlighted the Ghana 60 years on rally touch and handed it over to Azuma Nelson, one of the greatest boxers to come out of Africa. He is affectionately called the professor. He's leading the president to the saluting days. It's a symbol for us to mobilize for Ghana's future. Here comes Professor Zoom Zoom Nelson with the Ghana 60 years on torch. From here he's going to go to the Accra Sports Stadium where it will be received and then taking on a trip across Ghana. Chiefs, opinion leaders, local heroes, athletes, and Ghanaians from all walks of life will be part of this relay. The Greater Accra Regional Minister is waiting at the stadium to receive the torch. And the torch will stop in all 10 regions to mark our beautiful and rich culture and feature at the major annual festivals that celebrate the diverse cultures of Ghana's people. The torch relay bears the same theme as Ghana's seated anniversary, mobilizing for the future. Sending to the Accra Sports Stadium across the road, where it will be received by the Greater Regional Accra Regional Minister. May this torch relay renew our bond as Ghanaians. May this torch relay inspire us all to do greater things for Mother Ghana. And may this torch relay mobilize us all for a future of accelerated progress, development, and prosperity. Thank you. The professor leader, over to you. by physical training instructors from the Ghana Armed Forces and the motorcade to the Accra Sports
of perpetual flame over. May I have your permission to carry on with the parade, Mr. President. The parade commander has been granted permission by the president to continue with the parade and the school children will march past. Squadron leader Robinson Omani Ajay. And goes by the left. Right. Match.